What do I like about my team? Yeah. I like everything about my team. I've seen these guys play for years, and I put together the team thinking that it was going to be the best one, and I still think it's the best team, even though uh, we've been struggling the last few weeks. Everybody thought that coming into this tournament that we were going to be one of the favorite teams, so I think we just got to get there, and then that way everybody else is proud representing Echo Fox. These guys are like the best team I've ever played with, you know? Everyone's just the best at what they do. Sloth is the guy with the black leather jacket, combing his hair back, looking cool for the ladies. He gets five kills. It was nothing. He's our biggest slayer. His role on the team is literally just looking for kills. Moralia. <laughs> Crank, I hate that guy. Oh my god. Nah, no, jokes aside, Crank's pretty cool. He's a really cool guy. Yeah, you know, we just played like dog shit. <laughs> He's very funny. <laughs> Crank. Crank. Please. It's okay. He's different. He's our shot caller, so he brings a lot to the table in terms of telling us where we need to be, where we need to go. Sweet dreams. He's probably our main tactician. Very smart, very calculated individual, I'd say. Oh, he just loves debate class. That's, that's all I know about him. If he says a call's good, then everybody pretty much listens to him. He's definitely a leader. The guys look up to him a lot. He's just a great teammate overall. Prox is the the baby of the group, I guess. Prox, a little coconut, he's a young one. He plays better than you would expect him to play every time he shows up on stage for game day. Off stage, he's just trolling a lot. He's trolling and he's lazy. We all love him, but that's the truth. Hey, what's up, guys? Pineapples is kind of like the backbone of our team, so he's more of a like support player. Pine's a very nice guy, he's very humble. Pineapples is a great friend. He let us stay in his house for the last two months while we've been here without a house. He's kind of like the dad of the team. He keeps us stable. What I love about the Echo Fox H1Z1 team is it really feels like a family. I know that's a bit cliche to say, but now that all of us are living in a house together, it really feels like everyone's my best friend. We get along better than most other teams, and it just makes it easier to play together. So we're going into week six here. Echo Fox is currently in seventh place, and we're looking to kick some ass and move up in the standings. Vegas, three, two, one. Round one, we spawned inside of the safe zone, so it was a really easy rotation for what we wanted to do. Oh, it's about to be a bloodbath. We played aggressive, and we team fought really well. Helmet, helmet, chief, helmet, chief. Prox played really well, a little coconut. Oh my goodness, all of a sudden, everybody is a target. Echo Fox going to be able to get some kills on TSM. Let's go, baby. And they're just pulling the squad apart like soft bread. He had six assists with two kills, and I got two kills myself. I put a lot of damage out on the map, so I felt pretty good. We took three fights against three different teams. We won all three of them, and we only died to the zone. Results around one were nine points. Game number one, we played really well. Going into round two, we just basically wanted to repeat that. Game plan was to have a nice rotation and frag out, get a lot of kills. We spawned in our normal spawn point, which is on the east side of the map. And the zone went east, but it went northeast. So we had a pretty hard rotation to the safe zone. So we're going to the top of the mountain? Yeah, yeah, just get up there. Then we'll start rotating down slowly. We played the east side of the zone and shifted west a little bit. Didn't execute it properly, I guess. Remy Bear is really going to push Echo Fox away. Uh-oh. And went downhill from there. Make sure they're not coming above me, dude. Watch out going down, boys. Watch out going down. I fucked it up big time. Did I hit you? <laughs> oh, no. Drank. We just decided to rush for a spot and try to get as many points out of the game as we could. Oh, my God. I just got fucking wailed by a sniper. Did not work out, no. My car's dead. I got shot in the back. There was a team behind us we didn't know about, so they came in behind us and definitely uh, gave us a lot of trouble. No, 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 no. Did not work out, no. We only resulted with two points, but uh, those are sometimes kind of the uh, plays you have to make in the Pro League to either get a lot of points or end up with nothing, and that's the risk we took. The overall results for Echo Fox in week six were 11 points. We came in being seventh place in the standings, and we ended being seventh place. That's just the way it goes, you know? Some games are gonna be like that. We're just looking to bounce back next week. Echo Fox was a top three team coming into the Pro League, and we still are. We just need to sharpen our skills outside of the game and stay fresh. I have a lot to be proud of in my eyes. I think they've already accomplished a lot as a team, just uh, being together for not that long. I just see so much potential in these guys. They know their worth, and I just want them to show everybody else.